So now that we've got our uh, final pink one, we're just missing the kind of peg and the block at the top, and we can make it look like it's been sanded down. We could even kind of render it as well. So the way we're going to do that is, the first of all, just make the block at the top. So we're going to start Digi Sketch. Make sure we're selecting this face up here, and we just want to be able to view it so that we can kind of see. You can play about with this just so you can see. Um, this kind of angle here, so this is kind of the isometric view, and we, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit to make my life a little bit easier. And we can basically draw out our kind of block at the top. So we're going to use the rectangle tool again, and this time we're just going to drag it along here, make sure that it's hitting both of those lines, and 20 is exactly what we want, but we want ours to be. Um, 75 in length and we want that roughly to be in the middle of the DAO so we need to make sure that rather than pressing enter when it's doing the width we need to be doing it for the length so we're going to go I'm going to have a look at this top view here and use that kind of DAO to know where the middle of it is so I'm going to go roughly here draw a rectangle and I'm going to press tab for 20 and I'm going to go 75 in length, and that will probably be about right. The closer that edge of that block is to those, the more kind of tension that's going to be on the elastic band. And we can extrude that one, just like we have done before. We're going to go new solid here, and we're going to make sure that that is about 15 uh, in kind of depth the thickness of it so we can press OK and then we got the peg there as well which is great. So the last few things we can do is we can kind of make it a little bit more ergonomic. So we can go to 3D model and we can use some of these tools here. So we can let's zoom around and you can use the fillet tool. We'll click on maybe this line here. If we're gonna give this a fillet of about 50 millimeters, give it a nice curve on the handle just like that, give it about 30 maybe not as much maybe that's a little bit better, that's a little bit more comfortable so I'm going to press OK and we're going to go for fill it there on that handle so that's a little bit more ergonomic you can also make it a little bit more sanded down so we're going to go for maybe the chamfer tool or the fillet tool again so if I use the fillet tool here that's not going to be too much, but if I go for like kind of 3 millimeters or maybe 5 millimeters, it gives it a little bit more of a curve. You can do that on any of the faces. You can also use a chamfer tool, which will, maybe let's say if I use it up here, it will kind of give it the aesthetic that it's been sanded down a little bit. So we can go for that one, maybe 2 millimeters, have a look at how that looks. So it's starting to look a little bit nicer here. And the last thing that we can do once we start to be curved a bit and we're happy with the final ping pong launcher, we can render it, which basically means we can give it a texture, give it a colour, make it look like it's made out of material, which for us is pine. So we can go to this top button here, appearance, and I'm just going to type in pine and see if that comes up. Press enter. So we've got yellow pine here. I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. Let's move that to one side. Or I'll just zoom out here and that's a little bit easier. And I can render this pinpoint launcher so it's got um, a material. So I'm going to click this button here and I'm going to choose my pinpoint launcher by making sure I've got my cursor. So I might need to press escape to do that. I can select the whole thing and I'm going to left click here. I'm going to give it a kind of material so it looks like it's been made out of pine. You could even change it a little bit further if you wanted to. So, let's say you wanted your kind of block at the top to be made out of plastic, that's no problem. We can left click on appearance again. We can type in maybe acrylic, which is the plastic you might use. So that one hasn't come up. We can just type in plastic and see if anything comes up. And we can have a little scroll down. 
so plastic, low gloss plastic, let's say I want to use that. And I just want to maybe choose some different faces that might be made out of plastic. So I might have covered it up with something. Put that on there, might start to look a little bit different. You do that with any. So I advise using Pine or some sort of other software or hardwood you might know. But you can use any of these to change the appearance. I'm just going to undo that. And that is your final ping pong launcher. And then you can screenshot it and you can print it off or you can save it into your documents.